Hello, Jack. Um, I'm making this video for you, and of course, I'm going to send it to uh, everybody else. So let's get started. You send me a couple of uh, uh, charts. Uh, this is the one I have. Right? Uh, on uh, that is a trade pound USD trade on the 22nd, and um, this the other one was was where is it? This one, right? This is the one that you sent. That you know what levels uh, are next and what not right so uh, <clears throat> this is the one that you said you know how i took this one right and uh, so just before this let me show it to you just before this i sent out uh if i may have it here i sent out the um a chart of pound index okay and which was showing that uh, i said that uh, you know to me like a harmonic pattern the pound index should be dropping it may drop from there okay and uh, if I can get that chart, man, it's 121. Yeah, this is the one, right? So pound index, I said it it was here and 64.33, but I said must stay below 64.33, and it's gonna drop to this area. But if it goes, obviously all the the, up, the options for both sides are always open. Okay, never uh, made up your mind that it's just gonna drop. It must drop. The whole world has to drop. No. Uh, it's there. We anticipate that uh, if we get uh, a bad news, the pound is going to get uh, weaker and this thing will drop because this is a harmonic pattern, possible harmonic pattern. C point, which is on the 23% line, 90% of the time the price moved from there. So the possibility was there, but if not, then the move was going to the upside anyway, right? And any good news will take it to the upside. And that's exactly what happened. Look, this is where. Uh, uh, pound index right so this is the pound index 33 minute chart and this is where we were at that time okay if you pull the fib you can see this i have it a little uh you know candles a little wider so you can understand clearly right so 23 uh percent line that's where we were right i right there and i made the chart that if we stay below that's the, the number there was a number there right so if we stay below that, 64.33. So with the good news, the pound start going up. And what happens when the pound gets going up? All the pound pair will go up because pound is on the left hand side. Only euro pound will drop, right? So uh, at that time, it was some. See, you can see here it was January 20. Not even that. You know, it is right here. It was actually. I'm gonna look at in the live chart here. Okay, here. What was it? It's 121, 1500 hours, something like that. Right? And after that, it start to move. Notice that my trade was, um, okay, here, uh, I'm going to show it here that what was the one. After 121, 1500 hour, what happened in pound USD? We're going to see. 121, 1500 hour, right? 121, 1500 hour, and it was right there, right? So pound become bullish already right it was bearish right and it was going down for some reason and then pound start getting strong and it was uh, you know it was a, like a continuation so pound usd become bullish right there the yellow is uh, above the black above the uh, the red and then we start looking for long setups right so uh, this was my entry i think i forgot but you know so many things but i think usually i take some like that and then I got knocked out, and then down the road again. This one was the entry that I took. This is what you saw uh, the chart here, right there. Right, this was an entry, and like I said, you know, when it moves a little bit, then I come, uh, you know, uh, more to the upside close to my uh, S, uh, my entry. Right, my, I move my SL, and then somehow I got knocked out, and then again. I got in again so this is what you're supposed to do if you have uh, you know a lot of times happen that that happens that you, you make an entry and then it comes back and hits you and i don't know if, if there was entry was this one or this one i think it was this one and then it got knocked me out here and then you went i didn't take this one and then i took this one something like that so i, I remember that i'm missing uh, my sl was hit uh, for a few pips here and then after that you know the second one and then it took all the way so it was like either or always right and then draw these numbers like for example yeah your second chart is saying that okay these are the numbers 
all the highs and lows, mostly swing highs and swing lows, but these are also important but not that important. For example, swing high and swing low means the swing low is this. Right now you have a small high here and then you, it's a dip here, so we don't count that usually. Uh, I draw these main numbers like this one and then swing high, this one, right? You, you're not marked here, right? It's not marked, but you know, this is important. Then swing low, this one, then swing high, this one, right? And then this is low, this is high, and then this is low, maybe, you know, maybe you can count, but not the high. This is not, I probably wouldn't count, but this is the low all the way down, right? And these, both of these numbers are important, then this high, this low, yeah. So now, the thing is that you are here. Why would you want to be marked and waste your time marking these numbers here on the 7-minute chart? On a 7-minute chart, uh, the daily range is 88 pip right now. You can see on the chart, right? So maybe it's going to go up here or down here. So only the numbers related or, or, or relevant to that, uh, 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 that price range at that time. For example, it was here, uh, what was the, the, the price is hidden here. You're, you have this color I can't even read here. Whatever, whatever was it, right? But you want to just take few numbers to the upside and few numbers to the downside for a night. And then draw that num those numbers. And these are important numbers over the time you will learn that some of those numbers are very important, like 3047. It always gives you some nice, decent reaction. Okay, 3380 is very important. Right, so uh, you will learn these numbers are very, very important. You know, 2956 somehow it is very important. It, it uh, give a lot. So now this one is not marked. It is important, but you know it's, you have to mark this one, this one. Some of those I forgot to mark, right? And then some of my charts are they are marked, and then I have same chart on different computers. So uh, sometimes I send out by mistake, you know, the one that is not marked all the way. <coughs> so uh, you just go ahead and then you know put your cursor there and then see what the number is, read it, and then write it down or copy the number and put it down, there, right? So yeah. It, now it, I use wrote it down. It's like it. You wrote down here that it, it. It this is the next level above price that has interest for you. It's not about my interest. If I want, if I my I have an interest that okay, it should go here. It may, it may not go there. It's just that yes, all the numbers above, right above that, all these numbers, relative highs and then relative lows, are close to the current price. Like within 100 pip. You should mark and then see what happened. For example, my current chart, if uh, uh, any, right now it's pound USD, let me see. It, on this, uh, I don't have it, but see, for example, right now I'll pay attention to this number. This is 3047, right? So we are right around that number. But what is be below 3047? I want to know where the heck this thing is going. So what I'm going to do is the USD weekly chart, and this is, see, this is 3012. It's right above that. So I'm going to immediately draw that and then 3012 right so i'm gonna draw that and watch what's happening okay uh 3012 because it's important that if it's number is gonna break or hold so we are going there and probably is gonna drop more to that number right now it's keep dropping 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 today right and um uh, pound uh, this is pound usd by the way so pound usd 33 minute chart is this and then you can see if it is um, some kind of level here, the Fibonacci number. Okay, so um, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know, but this is uh, 3027, this is 3047, and this is 3012 would be right here, right? And you can see that 78% was just below that, right? And currently we are bouncing from there, right? So what do you think is gonna happen? Aha, you guess it right, right? <laughs> so if we get the reversal candle here, chances are the pound again will start getting strong. This was just a retracement, right? So uh, first we thought it's going to bounce. I, th I thought maybe it's going to bounce from here and go, but, you know, it, it always does that. See here, it, it came, it reversed, and then continuation. It, it, I, I thought maybe it's going to drop from here, it went up. Right, and then we will think about okay, maybe it's just uh, you know uh, the end of it here, around 50 percent, or around very close to 61 percent reversal candle is there. Uh, okay, so it might go up from here, and then you wait for the seven-minute chart to give you a green light to go up. But instead of that, immediately you get another bearish candle, reversal candle, and then the game starts to the downside again. 
And now that's what's gonna happen. What's happening right now? Seventy-eight percent, right? Touch and then bouncing and thirty twelve, which is it's a very important number if you look at it. Um, Mr. Weekly, or is okay here, right? So this is the high, right? And then after that, you, uh, you this is the high of the wave three, basically my, my three, and then this was a small wave four, and then we went up. So the price drop here, and then kind of uh, like uh, bouncing just above that. So seventy-eight uh, percent from here to here. And uh, let's see if it, uh, you know, goes to the upside. So w what is the scenario? How are you going to go long? What's the scenario to go long? Can we go long here? Can we go short here? You should have gone short here already. But then the, uh, the bottom, uh, this is the seven minute. Let me see if uh, pound USD seven minute. Is it refresh or is it messing around with my mind? This is USD. Uh, this is, uh, I what happened here? There's something messed up here. Whoa. Okay, I had two. Okay, no wonder. All right, let's see. Refresh, so 33 and 7. Okay, but um, yeah, it looks current, right? So very 12, uh, I mean, uh, very close to uh, 30, 12, right? And then the pivot point is right there, and uh, the pound index is kind of bouncing, and then pound is supposed to get strong. So if that's the case, then we should be going to the upside, right? So what do we do? we supposed to wait, right? So now it's going to go up here, and then you will see that, okay, it's not going up, and in, instead uh, it just uh, post a, a bullish candle, and then after that bearish candle again. So it will just go up here and then drop again and then start giving you short if the continuation is going to happen. Just like here maybe, right? This is the place, right? Let me see. Uh, let me show it to you. See this candle here, when was it? This was uh, 127.11.20. 127.11.20, is that the one? Yeah, see, exactly. So here was the bullish reversal candle, but we waited for this yellow to go above the red and give you the long, right? That never happened. What happened? Then the price dropped below the red again. So, and then we need a short. So there was no short here until here, right? I missed that already, but I, you know, I have some yen pairs. So this is the one that you immediately take. And if nothing is still 30.53 to 30.30. So that's 20 pip. With one standard lot, that's $200 you can pick up easily with this small thing here, right? This is a very, very small, you know, it's like a peanut. It's like it's not even a trade, I call it. But that's money we're talking about, right? So this is, these are the small, uh, if you can um, play around for uh, like um, uh, scalping or thing. But, you know, I, I do not recommend because that's nonsense. You know, you got to have to sit for long hours. Uh, and then trading, especially when it can give you. But yesterday, look at my yesterday, my, my trades. I had my the chart. Let me show it to you. And, and everybody knows that chart. And I gave it to the in my uh, webinar, right? And um, oh yeah yeah. Okay. So this was the chart that I made on the 25th over the weekend, and I gave it to the you know every my subscriber. And, and you had it, right? I don't know if you took the trade or not. So I'm telling here that. Taunas is going to go up to into this area. And the next thing that happened is this. And then I had myself, you know, you know right there is the uh, entry. And uh, from right here all the way up, because I knew that this is what's going to happen. Uh, at least my anticipation, at least that's what, that was uh, my technical analysis. And, the, uh, you know, if, and if it is happening, then I thought I'm, I'm, I'm on the right track, on the right side. And I held because of this pair has a big uh, daily range, and I was expecting that it will go there uh, slower, but, you know, uh, it went there rather fast. But that's okay. It's good. It's even better for me, right? So 140 pip trade from here to here. Um, it is there already. Uh, if you don't, let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, and because of just that chart, that's how it, see? Just like uh, the one um, you're talking about here. You see that entry here? What's the difference? This is pound Aussie and this is the, see? How it, it uh, this thing goes above this wave, goes above the red line, 
travel by it like this is i uh, i explained you that co uh, coiling uh, the spring and then all of a sudden let go so the same thing happened exactly the same way this trip see this is pound aussie and your pound usd same so grab this and uh, uh, uh you know print these charts and then this you will see again and again and again and again that the price goes above the red line and then it travels very close by and then all of a sudden it gives you an entry and boom it goes like you know releasing the co uh, the spring right so this is how uh, uh, it goes so i hope that it clarify that this is how you you watch the index you can watch the both indexes but um, at least one of them, the, the, the main one that we are concerned and, uh, you know, around the level that look for the reversal on 33. That's very important. You see this here? It's again dropping. It's confused right now. This is the time, very prime time right now. Very, very prime time for trading. So what's going to happen? So if it is going to go up, bounce from 73 and then try to go up to 38 or 23 percent line here, right? Then what are we going to need? We're going to need this thing go above that was uh, this right so 33 percent part so this thing need to go above uh the wave the the red line and go so now it's, it's continue going down uh 30 12 and something is coronavirus is just uh, scaring everybody off right and the market is getting uh, uh the you know the brush of it um and then now uh, you know chaotic moves, uh, you, you're probably going to see some, uh, you know, chaotic moves uh, out, of, out of nowhere because some big broker uh, closing uh, unexpectedly their big position. So that affects the market. So anyway, but you know, this is how uh, it works. Uh, you just watch these uh, index charts. Uh, the one I gave you, remember, this is the one that I was expecting that we're going to bounce from here. I made another chart, right? So we did bounce. We went there, but again, we posted a reversal candle. So what happened after that? You see this reversal candle uh, closed here at 127.1400 hour. So you look at the seven minute, 127.1400 hour is right here, right? So it was nicely going up, pound was getting strong. All of a sudden you have a short setup here, you have a short setup here, right? So what do you look for? Now you look for short entries in pound pairs. So, you know, see that pound probably is going to go down right now, right? And then in pound, um, uh, doing so, pound entries, for example, today, uh, that was that was when? That was 27. So I didn't have that pound, uh, pound yen trade because uh, uh, pound was getting weaker and then um, not here. No, it, it just started here. This is, um, hold on, this is, the, okay, this is just uh, starting it, but before it was just wobbling because of the yen, right? Uh, yen was getting strong, pound was getting strong, right? So now yen getting strong and pound start getting weaker here, what will happen? Pound yen will go down, right? And um, with that, if I have a trade like this, so it shouldn't be uh, any surprise because, you know, it just went down and then it went up and the 4238 area, and there was uh, before it got rejected. We are below the, uh, the, the 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 level, right? And after that, you are basically you are down, down, down. Uh, you, you know, yen is getting strong, and then uh, pound is keep dropping. So where the heck are we gonna go? Any pair, any pound pair. You see that if it's uh, I didn't get anything else, but you know I went to sleep actually. <laughs> so now I just woke up and then making a video and then taking care of a few other things. So. Why not? You know, I had a few nice trades yesterday, so I'm, if you, even if I don't get any trade or if I don't trade it at all, it's okay with me. But um, yeah, this was a nice uh, today's nice uh, trade, and then I have a few other uh, based on yen index, which is beautifully going to the downside according to my uh, rules. For example, if I show you, uh, if I you know you keep these charts, print these charts when I give you that. If you print. You can't go wrong because uh, if you don't print, then, you know, very easily you're going to uh, miss those, um, uh, you know, you'll forget about them, basically, okay? So, for example, this chart I gave you, in fact, before that, this is the, like this one, right? This is the one on the 17, that from here, we're going to drop here. And if you go to take a look currently, where we are now is uh, exactly where I said we're going to be and uh, all yen pairs supposed to drop so uh, i had so many yen trades right 
see like here exactly same thing happened for right from there we were dropping and we are very close to the teal now that all the yen pairs are dropping a lot of people will see that okay they are dropping there they become bearish and they're gonna go down more but in reality no this is going to be the end of the road and then the more possibility would be that it will bounce for this is wave a so now we're going to go up for wave b here 61 percent then all the, the all, all of a sudden the yen pairs will make a turn to the upside and people will get caught thinking that yeah they start dropping so they're probably going to drop more but you have to understand that you know you watch these indexes and they will show you the way where the heck they're going the, all the pair depend on these indexes right so if you, you can catch this i caught this one going up yes you have the charts on my website you can see it and then then i just showed you that i caught this one that is going to come down here and i have the chart already that will that is showing that we're going to bounce from here to here and then here to here okay so this would be the route and then the, the similarly the all the pairs involving this currency will make the changes in the swing there's you know swing up swing down swing up swing down and a lot of people say that, man, you, yesterday you said they're going to go up. They went down. So they're not going to go up every single day. <laughs> they will make the up and down. That's why we learn about Elliott Wave and harmonic patterns, because this price makes waves up, down, up, down, up, down. And, and the more you learn that when it is going to up, go up and when it is going to go down is the key. And then we don't know for sure. So that's what we do is that if we try to find out that if it makes the turn how it look like so that we can identify that it is making a turn so that's what my IEB system is all about right if uh, I know that it's gonna make a turn and then it comes here and then give me a short setup like this it you know indicates on the way up so it's gonna be you know dropping here similarly here it looks like okay it bounces here and then it drop here so, and this indicates all the way down we are above you know the yellow is above the red and then red candle turns blue that means gonna go up time after time after time we tested it that this is the setup that always work and then this is how we know that after placing these setups it's gonna go up and then all yen pairs will go up and then you go look for the same setup in yen pairs and take it from there simple as that okay so i hope you understand that it was very you know easier basically that to understand that this was the, the you know, nice set up on the 33 minute chart that's why uh, it's a concentrate on 33 and 7 for now and forget about everything 20 even forget about it you're gonna miss few trades so who cares if you make maybe eight ten trades a week or positive trades using the seven minute then who cares about 20 minutes right yeah the 20 minute is more conservative and then more strong uh, accurate entries but you, right now the way i'm telling you to trade between 33 and 7 it is more accurate if you follow the rule you can never go wrong okay and even if you do you're gonna lose what maybe five to ten pips that's all then when if you are good you can you know trade you know you can get something like this right something like this just now a little while ago i closed if i get an entry here and then you know uh, again um that I'll, I'll do it maybe but right now I'm in the mood of making a few videos so I'm busy and I'm not trading right uh, watching and then uh, later on if I find something now, now my indicator was uh, indicators were beeping but now they're not they, they shut up now so um, but the, when they start again I will see which one is beeping and then see if uh, you know it's a good one and then I'll take it right similarly I have right now long uh, EA and sitting on a break even because it's uh, way up there, but you know, um, let me see it's what it's doing. It's a regular candlestick formation. Yeah, so it's right there, and the chances are that it's gonna drop. But the problem is that the Aussie indexes keep getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and still have little room to the downside. But it, this thing is like enough is enough, buddy. And uh, it might, but it can go something like that too, right? Okay, so uh, it's uh, way up there, and then it may drop from here because it's a very very big level already hit i think a 6450 something uh 6452 yeah so it hit already and then see this big extension so you know easy coming back here right so what will happen your Aussie will drop right but we look for a right entry proper entry to go down right not in a character see this is a Aussie index if you look at it 
this is what's happening is just keep dropping, dropping, dropping. And with Aussie dropping, pound Aussie and Euro Aussie go up, right? But uh, how far this thing is going to drop? That's the question, right? So there's a level coming down there uh, very soon. 3681 is the number there. Uh, um, weekly, uh, it's a uh, monthly number here, actually. Uh, this is the one, I guess, 3681. And this will give us a bounce. Yeah, 3681. Right now we are 3717, so very, we are very close, but we keep dropping. And then we have these two lows here uh, to worry about if it continues going to the downside. So that's how it is, all right? So hope that uh, you understand. I, I made you understand a little bit. If not, then let me know. I'll make the uh, video again. And I'll, of course, I'm going to send this video out to everybody else as well uh, because uh, everybody needs to learn, right? Okay. So, uh, like I said, if you don't understand, uh, let me know, okay? So, this is it for now, and talk to you guys later.